In today's video, I'm going to be going over my favorite way to grind out some rare schematics, rare acquisitions, wonder weapons, and a bunch of insane stuff that will be helpful to you in your game. And this is super solo friendly, but it can also be very challenging because it does involve you going into the tier 3 region. So if you do want people to play with, we do have a Discord server, link down in the description. Be sure to check it out. There's over like 100 people that just joined that are looking for people to play Modern for Zombies with. And also this strategy does involve you potentially getting the Raygun schematic as I did get it myself from there. This. and I will be going over in detail the best way to set up because there is like a way to make this super effective but what you will be looking for is the cargo mission inside the tier 3 region it doesn't spawn there every single game so if it doesn't spawn for you I recommend for you to exfil and go back in or back out it's completely up to you the reason for this is because the cargo mission doesn't involve you having to deal with insane zombies like it doesn't involve you trying to take down bounties or do some other insane stuff or even farm too much things you can do this super fast and effectively and get like these schematic and just acquisitions ridiculously fast. So I do really recommend for you to do this. Without further ado, be sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for all the love that we've been getting on the channel. I really do appreciate it. It's absolutely insane. I love all of you. And also, be sure to drop a like on the video as that does really help out. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so when you spawn in, you want to get stamina up. There are two options for getting this. You either can complete a contract and purchase it for 2,000 points or do this side easter egg that I'm going to be showing you that will reward you with a free stamina by just running up some stairs. And this is probably going to be the most effective and fastest way to do it. It does really depend on where you spawn. Like for example, I did spawn quite a big distance right now, but I'm just going to take a vehicle, drive over there. And when I'm there, I will show you exactly what you can do. And I just have to give a huge shout out to Mystery HQ who did find this easter egg, posted it on Twitter. So huge thank you because he just made the strategy even more effective. And if you didn't know, you can actually get other perks for free that I will be showing you in this video to make this strategy even better. So on the map, this is the place you want to be. The best way to tell them apart is these two buildings. And then there is a big box over here. It is located in the tier one region. So that is a really nice thing. And the only issue is it will take you a while to do this, but not too long. So this is the building again to show you here it is on the map. And of course you can always spawn in with stamina up if you do have the schematic or have X filled with it, but this will probably speed up your process. So once you come in here, you want to go through this door and as you can see, we have a bunny if you're not blinded by my gun. And now, what you have to do is run up all of these flights of stairs. So this will probably take a while. So I'm just gonna cut the video and I will see you at the top. I'm only on floor four. So I got I got, I got, got a bit of a way to go. And there we go. I just got through, ran through that door, and here it is. Here is the free perk. That is how you get stamina up for completely free. You do just have to run up. How many flights of stairs? Oh, wait, there's a... Uh, how many flights of stairs? 15. 15. <laughs> 15 stories. And then you can get to the top. So the other thing that I recommend for you to do, just in case, is you can get free Juggernaut if you come here to the map where I am located, which is right here, exactly beside this hut. And what you want to do is also have a Molotov. And the reason you want a Molotov is because you'll be able to just throw the Molotov at the fireplace. And this, as a result, will reward you with a free juggernaut which is well right here there we go see free jug just by doing that it's very simple it's very easy it also does really depend on where you are on the map but that's a very very easy perk to get and makes your life so much easier okay so i recommend for you to get into the tier 3 zone like i am with a car and the reason you want to do this is because this is the fastest way to get around the place without having to worry about running away from zombies. Now, one thing you also want to make sure is you do not drive over too many zombies, just because as you can see, my car's health is already going down really fast. And a cool thing with this actual contract is it's always in the same spot. So the way I like to do this is pull up as fast as I can, get out as fast as I can, switch to my fist because I personally don't spawn it with two weapons and try to run around the place. And then when you're back in your vehicle, it's kind of can be sticky and tricky to get inside just because the zombies can bombard you and take over. Oh, like right now I'm being absolutely destroyed by that zombie. You have to make your way over to the place where the actual car is. If you've never done a cargo mission, it's very simple. You just deliver cargo basically from one point to another. And the thing with this is it will always be located in the same spot. Now with the same vehicle that you hopefully still have when you drove in, mine is really low on fuel and low on health, you'd want to clear out the zombies that are here. And what I recommend for you to do is open the door, now with a combination of stamina, run around the place to kind of disperse the zombies more because they will be 
chasing you like crazy it will be chaotic i can already hear yep there's a dog behind me and it's really really crazy but if you make this correct like escape and get in fast enough you can actually get in with ease as you just saw there i outrun all the zombies because i had stamina up without stamina up it is possible but it is risky and now if you take the route that i'm taking it's basically a very easy delivery of cargo and you should get it done ridiculously fast and fingers crossed you do get really good loot now the nice thing with this is it's a very easy farm like you can basically hop in and out of your match and collect some rare acquisitions rare as hell schematics like straight up the ray gun schematic and you don't have to go through extreme pain all you have to do is just a bit of running around and maybe a bit of like farming to get good loot there we go already completed the zombies are cleared out i'm gonna run over and we didn't get crazy stuff we did get a better backpack which is a large one but it's stuff like that that's all you have to do and i'm going to exfil and do that again and we shall see what other good stuff we get but it all really does in the end of the day depend on how lucky you are with the spawn rate of that mission because it won't spawn in every match so if you're in a match where it doesn't spawn in then i guess you could just exfil or just play out the match and do something else first thing we like to do is instantly just exfil and rinse and repeat that process which can be a bit annoying but if you want to specifically just get really good stuff really fast i think that is the most trustworthy fastest way to do it okay here's attempt number two. Oh, i don't have that there we go <laughs> that was insane straight away we just got the tombstone schematic and i did not have that yet so there you go that's another example of that was just my second game and i already got a schematic that i don't have this strategy gives you ridiculously rare stuff and it's so easy it's like friendly to solo players that was something that i did super fast but this time around i just whoa Please don't lag me out. That was weird. But this time around, I just spawned in with stamina up. So I got in there super fast. I still have 40 minutes left on the clock. But I'm just going to go exfil. And again, rinse and repeat this process. If it's not there in every single game, just exfil or play the game out. You don't have to specifically do this. But if you are planning to farm, it is the most trustworthy way. You'll get the ray gun. You'll get schematics like crazy. Stuff you probably don't have yet. Now you might have a tombstone already, but I don't. So personally, that is something that has already proven beneficial to me. Prior to that, I got one weapons. Prior to that, I got the ray gun case. Prior to that, I got other insane stuff. It's just constantly going to be rewarding you with really good things. So looking at my inventory, I got a self-revive, an epic ether tool, which is already amazing, and also a tombstone soda recipe just from like what? It's been max 20 minutes of just hopping in and out and trying to look for a game with this now you could also do a different thing of hopping in with absolutely no loot potentially equip a strike team operator that doesn't have anything on you that you don't mind losing and equipping maybe no weapons and then trying to see if you potentially could get the objective and hop in and hop out and hop in and not hop out it's a really good way of strategizing stuff but if you just decide to like back out of your game i guess if you care a bit about your statistics i bet if you i bet I, I guess if you kind of care about your stats in any kind of way, you will have a pretty bad exfil infill ratio. So that's why I prefer just exfilling, infilling. It's just something that's like a little a little bit on my side. A bit of a small pet peeve I have. But there we go. Three seconds left. Exfilling with a tombstone. And it's just as easy as that. No complications. Nothing too difficult. And I'm just going to keep doing that. And trying to get some more insane stuff. Just to, you know, gather up those schematics. Gather up those acquisitions to make my life easier. 